Thanks for joining me today on Cooking with Carolyn. Today I have a great recipe that will take you straight into the fall or you can substitute it as a great weekend meal. I have some beautiful short ribs, some boneless short ribs. And these short ribs I'm going to braise them in a nice gravy and we're going to serve it over rice. So as you can see here, you have short ribs that come with the bone in and these just happen to be boneless. And you get more meat when they're boneless. So and a little bit of less fat. As you can see, some of them have a little bit of fat here, but that's gonna help in the cooking process and make the, make the dish really rich, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I already have them rinsed off and I towel dried them off. So what I'm gonna do is season them first with our house seasoning here, Grand Diamond Seasoning. Don't forget to get yours at gdseasoning.com, okay? And this has a nice spice to it have your garlic, your paprika, your cayenne pepper, and I'm going to go light on it. Now, depending on who you're feeding, you can go light or heavy. If they like a little kick to it, you can go a little heavier. And it already contains kosher salt. Okay? So, season that really well. And then what I'm going to do is slide it into this bowl here where I'm going to lightly dredge it in flour, all-purpose flour. Okay? All right. Just a light dredge because we're going to brown it in a skillet over about medium high heat. A little bit more. And get a nice browning on this meat. A nice crust, is what I should say, because that's what we're shooting for. Okay, so let's go over to our stove. Over here I have my olive oil in a pan. I'm just going to lay it down. And remember, don't overcrowd your pan. You don't want the meat to steam. You want it to brown and get a nice crisp coating. So don't overcrowd your pan. Do it in batches if you have to. I'm going to let this meat just brown about two to three minutes on each side and we'll give it a turn in a minute. Let's give our meat a turn. Okay, so let's take our short ribs and put them to the side. Remember, we're just browning. We're not trying to cook them all the way through. Okay, so now we have some onions, we have some garlic, and some rosemary. First, we're going to put the onions in this pot because this pot has some great flavorings in the bottom that we're going to deglaze in a minute. So let's get these onions softened. I'm not going to put the garlic in right away because I don't want it to burn. But we're going to take advantage of all these goodies left in the bottom of this pot. And you're going to let this go for about two to three minutes, just until the onions are softened. Okay, and then I'm going to move in my minced garlic here. This is about two to three cloves. Just going to move it in now. Get that around the pan. And remember, my pan is over about medium high heat still. We don't want our garlic to burn. I'm going to let that garlic toast up a little bit. So I'm going to deglaze with some Shiraz Cabernet wine, and that is a mixture of Shiraz and Cabernet Sauvignon. So those are two red wines. Now, this wine is a mixture of 80% Shiraz and 20% Cabernet. If you can't find this blend, then feel free to go with a bottle of um, Shiraz and then a bottle of Cabernet. For this recipe, we're going to deglaze with about two cups, so you would do about one and a half cups of Shiraz and a half a cup of Cabernet. Okay, so let's deglaze our pan. Some good bugs. Get all that goodness off the bottom of the pan. We're going to let this reduce to about half. Okay, I'm going to let the alcohol cook off and it's going to leave us with this rich flavor of this wine. This wine has a smoky, fruity, deep, rich flavor. 
like an oaky, even oaky. You can taste some, taste some of the, the oakiness in it. So it's really good and it really lends itself well to beef. Okay, so we're just gonna let that reduce. And you'll see it starts to reduce, you'll see the bubbles on the side. And now I'm getting ready to put in a couple of cups of beef broth. Okay, just gonna stir that in. And this is gonna be such a good braising liquid for the short ribs to just bathe in and bathe in for these couple hours. Okay. Might as well just pour the rest of it in here. And by the way, I'm working with about three pounds, two and a half to three pounds of uh, short ribs, boneless short ribs. Okay. All right. Now what I'm going to do is put a couple of good squirts of Worcestershire. And now let's put our nice brown short ribs back. Place them in. I'm going to turn off the heat because we're going to finish this in the oven. Place these in here. Now the flour that we brown the short ribs on is going to act as a thickening agent as the juices cook in the oven. The last thing I'm going to put in is a nice sprig of full rosemary, okay? So after putting the meat back in these juices that we're going to cook them in, don't forget to not miss the juices from the plate where your meat is resting. Pour that in. That is flavor, okay? We are ready to go into a 375 degree oven for about two to two and a half hours. So that's why I said this is a good weekend meal and great for the fall and even better the next day. hand here so you can see. Look how far the juice has cooked down. Nice and thick, rich. And look at our meat. It's fork tender. It's falling apart. Let's plate this up. a spoon because I don't want the meat to fall apart because it's going to do that on its own. It's just four tender, no knife needed. And the perfect accompaniment to our meal today, we're going to go ahead and have a glass of the Shiraz Cabernet that we cooked our short ribs in. Delicious, smoky, fruity, goes perfect with our short ribs and our rice. That's all the time we have today. Thanks for joining me here on Cooking with Carolyn. Be sure and go to Facebook and like us on 771food.com. Also on Facebook, visit Cooking with Carolyn. And don't forget to go to gdseasoning.com and order your Grand Diamond Seasoning today. I'll see you all next time. <laughs>